<laughs> Eddie Hearn said yesterday, or I, I heard it last night, I don't know when he said it, but uh, he said that he's going to offer Tank Davis a massive deal. And obviously, you're in charge of how these deals are spent, uh -huh. his money is spent. Mm -hmm. Is that a fact? And how much is massive? I, by, by the way, I, I have no comment, on, again, on any deal okay. that is working. Uh, I work very closely with Eddie, uh, and Eddie and I know uh, what, what each other is doing. Well, there you heard it. And firstly, yes, yes, yes. It's another one from Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And you have just been listening to John Skipper, CEO of dance but let's hear what he had to say regarding Eddie Hearn I work very closely with Eddie uh, and Eddie and I know uh, what, what each other is doing so there you have it John Skipper CEO of dance clearly stating that he works very closely with Eddie Hearn. Now, why is this significant? Okay, let's get into it. Now, there's been a lot of talk from certain factions of the USA media, boxing media, talking about how Deontay Wilder is going to go around Eddie, Eddie Hearn. He's not going to deal with Eddie Hearn. He's going to go around him. He's not going to talk to him. Any prospective deal with Dan's will be in spite of Eddie rather than because of Eddie. He's not going to deal with Eddie. That was the narrative. That was what they were saying. But from the man himself, John Skipper, CEO of Dance, you heard what he had to say. He was very clear and unambiguous. I work very closely with Eddie, uh, and Eddie and I know. Uh, what what each other is doing very clear and unambiguous so what can we make of this there's been rumor that Deontay Wilder has been made a very handsome offer in a meeting without Eddie Hearn And that it's all about John Skipper. John Skipper made the deal. But that is clearly not the case. Clearly, any deal offered to Deontay Wilder was as a result of close consultation between John Skipper, the CEO, and Eddie Hearn, a prime partner in dance, brought on to grow the dance business in the UK, USA. So, all of those LDBC types in the USA, the naysayers, that it's got nothing to do with Eddie types. They have to just fall back and accept that the manager of Anthony Joshua, or rather the promoter of Anthony Joshua, is a key player in all of this. And let us not forget let us not forget the reason why this deal or prospective deal has come about. 
The reason why it's come about is because Dance, Eddie Hearn, are trying their best, their hardest, their damnedest to get Deontay Wilder into the ring to face this man, Anthony Joshua. You see, in reality, it's not about Deontay. It's not about Deontay Wilder. It's about trying to get him in the ring to face this man. The WBC. Or rather, they want the WBC belt. They have all the other belts. Wilder is holding the WBC belt to ransom. He won't step in the ring with Anthony Joshua. Unless he gets a king's ransom. And that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a king's ransom to get this man, Deontay Wilder, into the ring to face Anthony Joshua. This man, Deontay Wilder, says he wants generational wealth. But doesn't seem to understand the concept that gener generational wealth comes about in time. Over a period of years. He wants generational wealth. In one fight. Doesn't understand the meaning of the term. And because of that. They have to just say damn it. Let's just make him an offer. He cannot refuse. Even though. His drawing power. Is not good. Let's make him an offer he simply cannot refuse. And so I have to ask myself, well, is it, the question has to be asked, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Giving this man generational wealth in one or two fights. I don't know if it's worth it. But these guys, they are hell bent on getting this man into the ring to face this man and in order to do that it will take an absurd amount of money but they're prepared to do it this is Raphael Dawkins share your comments like subscribe share it's another one Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And I'm out.